second. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In our previous videos, we have already worked on few React's wireless modules and also did real-time application projects like BLE, LoRaWAN and GNSS module. If you have missed those videos, you can visit from the link given in the description box. So in today's video, we'll be exploring one more React module, which is React's UWB RYUW122 Lite. Thanks to React Technologies for sending this component. They are the IoT and wireless solution providers and also they have certain wireless and IoT modules like Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, NFC, RFID, LoRa and other wide range of products. So you can explore their website. The link will be provided in the description box. This module comes under UWB category. UWB stands for Ultra Wideband, which is a wireless communication technology that uses short range radio frequency signals for data transmission between the devices. Particularly in this RYUW122 module, UWB technology along with time of light concept, we can measure the real time distance between two points. Practically, we need two modules for the same. One module sends signals to the other one and waits for the response. Based on the time duration for transmission and reception, along with the speed of light, we can measure the distance between two points. Coming to its features, this module supports UART protocol, which makes it easy to interface with any microcontrollers. We can easily control this with 80 commands. This module operates on 3.3 volts and consumes very less power, which makes it suitable for low power devices. It is designed with integrated antenna. It provides precision location and data transfer and has a location accuracy of 10 centimeters. For more details, you can visit the website and check out the specification and also download the data sheet. Now it's time to do some practical. To make a real time distance measurement device, we need two modules in that one will act as an anchor, which send and receive the signals and calculate the distance. The other one will be a fixed point called tag, which just responds to the incoming messages. Before using these modules directly, we need to make some basic configurations on both the modules individually, like mode, address, network ID, and C pin. In order to make these configurations using the computer USB port, we need to use any type of USB to UART converter since UWB modules also support UART protocol. In my case, I'm using FTDI USB to serial converter. I'll use this circuit as a reference and make the connections. Before that, make sure to keep the jumper on 3.3 volts output. This will be our first module. I'll connect USB to the computer. Open Arduino IDE. In the tools, set the appropriate COM port of your device. and open serial monitor. At the bottom, set 
both nl and cr and baud rate 115200 in order to check if your device is working properly just send at and you should get positive okay response so first parameter is the mode i'll be using this first module as an anchor for that we have to set the mode to 1 so we have to send 80 plus mode equal to 1 to check the updated value send 80 plus mode question mark so the mode is successfully updated to 1 the second parameter is the address 80 plus address equal to i am setting this value as ank1 just for my reference and to check the updated value 80 plus address question mark the third parameter is the network id so i'll set this value to 1 so this value should be same on our anchor and also the tag the last parameter is the c pin by default it was 0 i have already updated the last digit to 1 we are done with the first module now i'll remove this and connect the second module again the steps remain same for 80 i'm getting positive response so i'll start with the configuration i'll be using this module as a tag so the mode value will be 0 80 plus mode equal to 0 next is the address 80 plus address equal to i'm setting it as tag 1 third one 80 plus network id equal to 1 so which will be same on both the last one 80 plus c pin so here also the last digit will be 1 and same as the anchor module we are done with the second module so i'll remove the usb connection so with this images side by side you can get the clear understanding for all the 80 commands explanation you can download the manual from their website so to measure the distance we have to keep sending the message from anchor to the tag and wait for the response So this is the command 80 plus anchor send with address of the tag length of the data and the data In the same way I'll be sending this With this command automatically the anchor receive command will also get executed which will have the tag address length and data if tag is sending something in the calculated distance in centimeters so for real time distance measurement we have to keep sending this command continuously and display the distance value on the lcd for the same purpose i'll use arduino and lcd along with anchor in case of tag just power supply is sufficient i'll connect to the power bank along with USB to TTL converter For anchor I'll refer this circuit and make the connections I'll upload this anchor code to the Arduino board 
I'll also leave the code link in the description box. And later, I'll use these lithium ion cells to power up the entire circuit. For the tag, I'll directly use the power bank as a supply. Now, it's time for testing. As soon as we power on the anchor and the tag, it starts showing the distance on the LCD. For reference, I'll use a 30 cm scale and start measuring the distance. So as we can see, it's showing around 28 cm, which is quite accurate. I'll move the tag to 21 cm. So now on the LCD, we are getting around 19 20 centimeter. We'll also do some testing on outdoors. We'll start with a single rectangle on this floor, which is around 88 centimeters. So if I keep the modules and measure from end to end, I'm getting the exact value, which is 88 centimeters on the LCD. So now we'll repeat the test for five rectangles, which will be 440 centimeters. So on the LCD, I'm getting around 450 to 500 centimeters. So this is how you can use React's UWB modules for real time distance measurement. I hope this video will be helpful. If you have any doubts, let me know in the comment section below. For all the files, visit the link in the description. Thank you for watching. We'll be back in the next video.